We're back. Because start isn't start. Oh my gosh. Roadkill Rodney. Yeah. Not Roadkill Rodney. Roadkill. God damn it. Roadkill Rodney is the bane of my turtly existence. Turtly, turtly, turtle. Are you not turtly enough? How do you feel about the Master of Disguise? Bird! I've never seen it. Really? Yeah. A lot of people wouldn't recommend it. Mm. I think it's okay. <laughs> um. So, we're going to try to talk about Seppuku and, uh... Works. Yeah, it's been an hour. I mean, it's been, been a minute, sorry. Uh, Seppuku and Harakiri. If you ever heard anybody pronounce it Harry Carey, just know that those people are from the 90s and early 2000s. Harry Carey is one of the, like, the idiot Western ways of pronouncing Harakiri. And I'm saying it like that because I'm a prick. <laughs> Like, I'm actively, like, saying it all japanese and smart because I'm a dick. Um, Sorry, he's not a weird dude. But, um, I, uh, okay, so the way I said that the, the dude who did the video on it should have started it was, like, have you ever heard of Harakiri? Have you ever heard, or Harry Carey? And have you ever heard of Seppuku? I don't know if there's another way to pronounce Seppuku. Uh, but if you have... You've probably often wondered what the hell are they and how are they different from each other? Because they both seem like seemingly involve um, the slicing of the stomach. Well, here's the deal. Um, they are both like uh, from what the guy said, one means cut stomach and the other means stomach cut. Yeah, like when it like when it comes down to like how they're uh like what their Japanese like uh like uh I mean that's the thing about direct translations is like some things just don't translate well. Well no, I think that's what he's just saying, is like that's how it translates. Is like a certain sound means like hara means I think stomach and kitty means cut. And seppuku is basically cut and stomach, just like the, the same two word sounds just flipped around. And like ultimately that's what it means. And the difference between the two is Harakiri, if I'm not mistaken, is simply a form of suicide. It means like to take the knife and cut through the stomach. Like that's just what that means. That, that's what it is. That's it. That's what it is. Uh, seppuku, on the other hand, is a, a ritualistic form of suicide that uh, I think like samurai or like ninjas or whatever would do to kill themselves if they had like dishonored or disgraced their lineage or their clan or their Wherever vacuum cleaner. Uh, and the difference between that was, yeah, there would like, it would be like, it would be a choice. Like it would be like a ceremony and like they would basically the difference is it's Harakiri, but there's a person there to cut your, your, to cut your like to cut your head after the fact so that you don't suffer. Like that's the difference. Like the the objective is not to make you suffer. Because it's about the act, not the suffering that comes with the act. Because you're not gonna bleed out immediately. That's the problem. How? How did I not hit him? I'm so bad at that. I looked like I was doing really good at first. But then I didn't. Good next to life. Uh, but that's it. Like, the, the, the whole idea of, like, yeah, like, it's, like, I guess you get dressed up for it and everything. And then they're like, all right, like, you do it. And then, like, I guess, like, if you suck, like, if you start to bleed out, but you don't die, like, immediately, they have somebody, like, 
like I don't know if they actually cut your head off or if it's just like they kill you. They find a way to like they just kind of kill you quickly so that you don't suffer. So it's like a uh, it's a respectful like acceptance of death because you needed to die. Which is wild, right? Was... I mean, again, like it was just like you dishonored, like it wasn't the always. So bad it wasn't always dishonor. Like sometimes it was just a matter of like being unhappy with your own, like um, how would I like uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Your own performance. Like, cause it wasn't like like understand. Like, like, you say, dishonor doesn't mean it has to come from someone else. Like you can be the one that perceives the song yeah but at that point it's just it's it's just it's just whatever come makes you come because like you'd be like no i've offended the, the my lineage and everybody else is like no we really don't care no it's not okay i must die now no seriously we don't care nope death now dead dead like yeah you just wanted to like that just that's what made you come like that's that's a you thing that's not a them thing they didn't make you do that like, they didn't decide that was the best course of action. You decided that was the best course of action. So I would argue, like, no, not the same thing. Um, my mouth is dry. Uh, but, yeah, it's just, like, they, like, because in some cases, it's not a matter of, like, in some cases, it is just a matter of, like, I'd rather, like, like, instead of getting caught by enemy uh forces or whatever, I'd rather die because, no. Because, let's be fair... In most cases, if it's like, hey, tell us what, tell us the secret launch codes. Never! All right, someone get the bamboo. <laughs> like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Like, but an immediate death. Like, I'm just going to cut my own throat or I'm going to swallow a suicide, su suicide, cyanide pill. Uh, that's just quicker and, like, more to the point than what torture would be. You know what I mean? So it makes more sense to just accept the death because if they, if you do give them the information they want, and then they send you back to your people, your people are gonna kinda like have some kind of idea that you, you know, ratted, and that's not gonna end well either, so. It's just, god damn, fucking, there's no way to, ugh. I think the only way to like to fix like, the, the side scroll 2D brawler is to give the weapons 3D range of motion. So like the weapons can like sweep across more than one plane, you know what I mean? Instead of like they like they only they only stay where you are. So an enemy who's like halfway, you know, like oh no, he's only like up away from you by like a few centimeters. Oh well, you didn't hit him and he hit you. Like yeah, just like kind of put put the uh, put them in like a, a like put, give the weapons like this arc arc swing. There was a game. I mind you, like they weren't thinking that hard about it back then. Probably not. No. After this, I have fun. Toga. There's a new Chuck uh, Chuck Norris. <laughs> Uh, Chuck Norris series. Okay. Series? Yeah. Oh, a new series of something with him in it. Not like, um... Chuck Norris himself. I don't understand this. this, this I don't understand. Okay. I, I, I realize what I've done wrong. There's a new Walker, Texas Ranger. There you go! <laughs> Because, for whatever reason in my head, Walker takes a stranger just to the Chuck Norris. I don't know what his name was in the show. Oh, his name was Walker. Yeah. He is Walker thing, Texas Ranger. Because, like, when it comes to stuff like that, the more you say it, you end up saying it all together. And it becomes one word. So, Walker takes a stranger was just one thing. But yeah, the CW has um, the... Oh, it's gonna be awful, man. 
the fuck? Really, uh, Walker, Texas Ranger, surely. I don't remember the theme song for Walker, Texas Ranger, but I remember that it was really good. I just remember that Wilfred Brimley was in. I never watched it. My mom watched it. I didn't watch it. I didn't either. Because I was a I child. Just know that, I, just, I just know that Wilfred Brimley was in. Look up the first couple words, like the first sentence of the Walker, Texas Ranger uh, theme song. Like, I, I'm almost positive if you tell me the first sentence, I'll remember the rest of the theme song. We've all seen that I'm quite apt at remembering lyrics. And this is why recording from like your laptop while uh, recording your laptop while playing your laptop is not always a good idea because it's gonna hiccup from time to time. And that was a hiccup. <laughs> <clears throat> In the eyes of a ranger. In the eyes of a ranger, the unexpected stranger can never know the truth of wrong from right. When the eyes of a ranger are upon you, everything you do, he's gonna see. When the eyes of the ranger are. Uh, some, I forget. Like it's something that that's where the range is gonna be. How much of that did I get right? <laughs> you got a solid like B minus. Oh wow, that's awful. <laughs> I was looking for at least a, a like a, a B plus or an A minus. <laughs> what I'm is sorry. the? Like, I was. Uh, I feel like I got. I, you can tell that I knew it though. <laughs> yeah. Like you, you got the uh, the amount of sentences there were. You have like seventy five percent of the words correct. It's in the eyes of the ranger, the unsuspecting stranger had better know the, the truth, truth from right Because yeah. the eyes of the ranger are upon you. See wrong you do, he's gonna see. see. When you're in Texas, look, look behind, behind you, because that's where the ranger's gonna be. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I was right though. Like if you tell me the like, give me the sentence. I'll I'll get it. I just didn't get it also, all the way right. Yeah. Chuck Norris wrote that song. I believe it. And I'm not saying that in like a like a negative way or anything. I'm saying like it's dope. Like the, the Walker Texas Ranger theme song is fucking amazing. Like it's really really good. And that's yeah. him singing it. I think the mm -hmm. thing I think the thing we need to learn except is like all white people from the uh, 90s and 80s if they were in TV they were also country western singers or country singers in some in some capacity because it seems like most they countries weren't. they could have been yeah because I mean because look how good Reba did in the Reba show like she did a really good job as herself that wasn't she wasn't her last name wasn't McIntyre in the show I did always find it weird that that was what uh how tv shows went about naming their characters like because in the weigh-in show their names was uh sean and marlon williams and martin his name was uh i don't think his last name was Payne. no his name was pain wasn't it I don't yeah i think it was martin Payne. and like his real name is martin lawrence obviously um I don't remember what LL Cool J's name was in uh, in the house. Uh, I think in uh, Hanging with Mr. Cooper, I think his name was Mark Cooper instead of Mark Curry. But in the uh, Fresh Prince, in the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, his name was Will Smith. Like he was Will Smith in that show. Like, but I don't know if it was like I, I forget exactly. Like. They were gonna cancel that show. Like after the first like season, they had intended they like uh, that show like the, the history behind that show is very strange to say the least. Like if you look at like how it got started and like what made them decide to do it, because Will Smith was not an actor at the time, like he really didn't know what he was doing. Uh, turns out like the reason the original Aunt Viv left is because personally. She didn't think it made sense for the show to be based around him. 
And I think that was more so because he wasn't an actor. Like, he wasn't an established actor. Like That's funny in retrospect. <laughs> how's a... Explain your irony. Because he's an actor. Dude. Yeah, now, yeah. But, I mean, in the... the the thing about that that it, like annoy, annoys me a little bit is like she should have like Janice Hubert, Janet Janet Hubert is her name. Uh, she has to understand like, hey man, everybody has to start somewhere. And he wasn't good necessarily. I think Will just had like uh, Will just had um, carrot charisma, and it worked out in his favor. But, uh, yeah, like watching, uh, uh, like there's like a, a short documentary I watched about like when Jen Hubert left the show and they brought in the new Aunt Viv, like that was weirdly enough, the demise of the show because according to, and it's stuff like you probably would never notice, especially as a kid that like before she left the show a lot of the plots like the, like the story arcs were really good and they made more sense like as far as like just making something that was like interesting now not to say that like every episode after like she left was boo boo it's just that before she left like a good chunk of the series had like more substance because keep in mind like after Aunt Viv like the first Aunt Viv left that's when we got the you know why he don't want me man uh episode like with his dad that's but keep in mind like that episode doesn't really uh deal with her necessarily mm -hmm. How do we do this from Rich Lissick's Walker, Texas Ranger. Um. Yeah, Walker, Texas Ranger. Um. I was just very confused as to how we got here. He's not even necessarily a bad guy. Ow. Hmm? Back on him. Uh, get away, Steve. You're a poopy butt. No, the poopy butt. Oh my god. Uh, I can't. J he takes so much health. Oh my god. How much health does it take? Like at least like four pigs. Like I don't want to get hit again to find out. A lot, yeah, like, like four pigs. Every time he hits me, he takes like four bars. Yeah. I don't know why, but I thought you said four pigs. Pigs, yeah. I Man, know that now. I just heard pigs the first time. Uh oh, pigs, pigs. It's like four pigs. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, it is just what it is. I'm getting greedy. There it is. Anyway. It's starting to be over. Yeah. Like, I hate fighting him. Keeping in mind that as I've played this game as an adult, like in the past month, I've understood more so how this game works, like how the bosses work, than I ever did as a kid. I can hope so. You know, honestly, I feel like that's something you should always strive for. You should never want to reach a point where you're no longer learning. Well, at that point, you can just die because you don't, there's nothing else to learn. Exactly. When the eyes of the ranger are upon you, everything you do, he's gonna see. When you're in Texas, look behind you. Won't really do any good because you just vanish into a cloud of smoke and then reappearing on the other side of you and then he'll rip your skull.
skull out of your head and then your head will just like collapse into itself there's a big bag of skin, nothing a skin bag of air it's uh because the because walker texas ranger is a, is a terminator that was the uh if you never saw the series finale that was the um the twist ending because he was a terminator and if you haven't seen the show, you can't tell me that's not true. I suppose so. You can tell me it's unlikely, but you couldn't tell me it's not true. Even if it didn't air, you could still say like, was well, it's the unaired like? Yeah, it's like it's, actual finale. It's lore that they don't explore through the show. Yeah. Ow. I didn't know I could throw y'all. I honestly find it more strange that the ranger is behind you. Well, it's because you're a criminal. Like, I think that's the, uh, that's the thing that the, uh... I mean, but it doesn't, it doesn't specify that. <laughs> Just that the eyes of the ranger are upon you. Like, I mean, it I is, it is Chuck Norris, though, so, like... You know. Fair enough, I can suppose. If you're looking for a Chuck movie, Chuck, Chuck movie to Morris. Uh, <laughs> a Chuck movie to Morris. There's this movie that from my childhood that he was in with this kid called Sidekicks. Uh, have you ever seen Sidekicks? Like for um, But you have heard of it. Mm -hmm. That's a really good movie. Okay, when I say good. I remember having this conversation with you. Did you ever watch Suburban Commando? No. Is that a movie? You need to watch God damn it! Does it have a uh, Houston uh, Rockets lead basketball star uh, Yao Ming in it? That's a really long story. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of the things you just said. I'm gonna tell you that it has Hulk Hogan in it. Yeah! And Christopher Lloyd. That's who I tried to say. Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Your little <laughs> mixer, bud. I was close, though. I started with an H, just, realized just I didn't know where this. I was going, and just gave up. Yeah, that's what happened. I started with an H because I knew I needed to start with an H. But then at, at some point I realized I didn't know where I was going and I just gave up. <laughs> I started talking. The, uh, it's a uh, movie where Hulk Hogan is a space bounty hunter. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he's not Hulk Hogan. He's played by Hulk Hogan. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> But, I mean, you never know, honestly, back then. Yeah, oh, man. What you gonna do, brother, when the Hulkamania calls you the N-word? Look, he hadn't reached that point yet. Yes, he did. I mean, he probably did, but he's yeah. not public. No, it was public. Oh, was it? Did you never hear about that? Like, he got kicked out of the WWE for a while for that, which has just proved that WWE only cares about racism a little bit. Uh, He I had been... He was recorded... He was talking to his wife... And I think it might have been during the Hogan sex tape. I don't remember. But he was uh, he was talking to his wife. And he had issue. Like, he, Brooke was dating a guy. And he was a black guy. And Hulk's response was like, I forget what he said. But his, I'm just going to say the word. Cause fuck it. But he's like, yeah, but he's a nigger. And that was his word. Those, that's what he said. Verbatim. You can probably go look this up on YouTube right now, or you can look up a report of it somewhere that will have the transcript of the video. And like his thing was like, she shouldn't be dating him. And I feel like he was really just trying to say because he's black and she's white. And I don't think he's racist exclusively, but I don't think he's, he uh, agrees with racial mixing, which you can mm -hmm. argue is still racist. <laughs> and, yeah. that's, and that's what it was. And I think because Hulk Hogan's a billion years old, he thought like I guess like in his head like this is that's just normal. how 
yeah, this is just how it is, how we talk about people of a different race. Like, he probably calls, like, Hispanic spicks and stuff like that. And, like, I don't know. He might even call other, like, white people crackers and honkies. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. Well, mind you, this is, like, at the height of his career, like, when this movie came out. I don't remember exactly when. Oh, yeah, so it's um, definitely from the 80s. So, well, yeah. at least the 90s. It's an old movie. Uh-huh. But just know that, that that's a thing that did happen with Hulk Hogan, and it did end up getting him removed from the WWE, but it was for a very short amount of time. But yeah, this is when The Undertaker... Uh, I want to see him and The Undertaker... We're like going in, like we're having a storyline going. Uh, yeah, they were feeding. because because the Undertaker the Undertaker was in the movie. Oh, I gotta see this fucking the, movie. The bad guy. I gotta see this fucking movie. <laughs> this is what wrestling should be. This is what it should be. I just want y'all to understand. They made a movie that was probably had nothing to do with either of them, honestly, but they decided that they would. Um, this is what I'm gonna start doing for most of my videos. I'm gonna stop at 20 minutes. And then talk for five. Uh, <laughs> and you can decide which part of the video you like the most. Uh, uh, like, they made a movie that didn't have anything to do with either of them. But then they decided to shoehorn in the plot, the, the, the plot of the wrestling into the movie. I would love if they did that now. I like, don't remember, but I do think The Undertaker does... Uh, Tombstone Pile Drive, Christopher Lloyd. I ain't even mad about that. It might not actually be Christopher Lloyd, but most likely his character. A stunt double, but it was his character. But keep in mind, guy, Christopher Lloyd's been old since the seventies, so he was always old. Because I told you about that. Lloyd, he's apparently going to uh, be in the uh, a Looney Tune show that's coming out this year. You mean the show or the movie? It's a show. Are you sure? Because fucking Space Jam is a thing. No, it's not Space Jam. Okay. Is he a character? There's is, no... is he a voice? I'll... No, he's like physically there. Like he's a oh, human okay, being no, no, interacting with the, it's the less Looney Tunes. Inter- it's, less, it's less interesting now. I know. Right? It's going to be It's gonna be Space Jam. You're like, no, it's not Space Jam. It's going to be Space Jam. And then I'm going to be like, but you said it wouldn't be Space Jam. He's like, yeah, well... You said it would be, so why didn't you take your own advice? <laughs> and I you won't have, me. and I won't have anything to say at that point. I'm like, touche, touche. All right, y'all, that's the end of this one. We'll catch you at the next one. Until next time, we out of here. Peace.